Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay. Welcome to another pre-Infocom edition of my Rants and Rays video casts. Uh, we're talking about all the sessions. Um, we've been talking about all the sessions that are really cool that you can't miss at Infocom 2024, which will be in Vegas this year. And one of those sessions is going to be led by Brett, uh, Britt Yenzer. Uh, Britt, uh, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. When I said, when I said to you before, should I call you Brittany or Brett? Brett. Brit, <laughs> it threw me off. I apologize, okay. but you go by Brit. Um, so tell us what you do. So I actually am in transition right now. For the past eight years, I was director of event technology at Moravian University. And okay. as of Monday, May 13th, I'll be the AV manager at Northampton Community College. But, oh, wow. you know, overall, um, AV and higher ed. Well, I'll tell you, if you are in higher ed, this is going to be a session that you're going to want to go to that Britt is, le is leading is how to provide exceptional AV services while relying on a student staff. And uh, since the cuts of about 10 years ago and the combination of AV and IT sort of being merged together, those two things kind of caused a, a change in AV specifically where we are relying a lot of, a lot of students uh, when we used to rely on AV professionals. That doesn't mean they can't do the work. If we design the systems right, uh, it makes their job a lot easier and they're learning on the job. And if they're patient, there's a lot of opportunity. But I'd, I'd love to know sort of your session's 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Anyone who's in higher ed should definitely go to this session. But but uh, Britt, tell me what you what what the sort of core learning outcomes will be. Yes. Um, thank you for the plug. And so what I'm focusing on in this session is how to make a program successful from the ground up. Oh, wow. A lot of people inherit a system that's already in place or they feel a little bit stuck in whatever loop they've been in for years. So I'm just introducing this is how we can kind of implode it and start over again to have a really successful student employee program, starting with the foundation of having a vision and standards and going all the way to the end of the cycle. That's a very interesting concept. So, so instead of sort of like ad hocing it, and fixing it where it is now. Your your concept is let's blow it up and start over and give everyone sort of equal footing and then and then um, document the system really well and yeah. then train as you move forward. Yes. That's really a neat uh, concept. So so you'll basically give them a blueprint to do this. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to talk through, all right, um, in order to attract the talent that you want on your team, you need to have a vision, right? And it needs to be a vision that the students, young people want to buy into. So let's, here's the blueprint of how to create that vision. Here's the blueprint to create your standards. And then once you have that groundwork, that foundation, now we need to recruit. Here's the blueprint for recruiting the type of student who's going to buy into your vision. And then you have to train them and retain them. And then they're going to graduate, unfortunately, for you. And here's the best way to say, bye, thanks for everything. You know, like it's really a management 101 sort of course. I, I will bet, though, if we look 10 years forward, a lot of these students would probably go on to become leaders in higher education and Navy and also potentially even starting their own businesses because they would see some of the the opportunities um, uh, of uh, you know inventing something that doesn't exist now or sort of creating something new. So I really like this concept that you've got here. And what's great about this is this is not a session that you have to have already been doing this for a while to figure out. You're, you're saying I can come into this session, be a newbie and, and kind of create my own department. And I, I'm guessing this would probably work in, in high schools too, even though you're focused on higher education because I see a lot of high schools especially with esports venues and others like that um, in some of the production venues, using students uh, to support those as well. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone who is looking to attract young people to a program, this is a great session for you. Because like I said, I think that we focus a lot on the actual technology and how it works. And we're really good at getting into the nitty gritty, but we seem to be missing how people operate and how to attract, especially young people to a team that's trying to provide an AV service. Yeah. And, and Gen Z, being a professor, Gen Z is a different kind of student than millennials were 
I, I really like this. I like this session a lot. It's going to be it's going to be Wednesday at 10 a.m. Um, it's how to provide exceptional AV services while relying on a student staff. It's a pretty specific title. I like it. Uh, it's hard to forget that. Um, if you want to register for that, all you got to do is go to infocomshow.org, click on education. You can register. And of course, if you don't have a free pass, all you got to do is type in rave. You get a free pass. And for doing that, you get a free rave t-shirt uh, at the show, Britt, in case you didn't know. Come by the booth and get one yourself. We'll be in the lobby of of uh, the, the West Hall. And uh, thanks for doing this. Thanks for volunteering to deliver this session. And congratulations on your new role. Thank you so much. It was great to finally meet you kind of in person. I guess I'll see you at Infocom. This is the way we've been meeting people for, I don't know, half a dozen years now uh, since Zoom did their thing. And uh, look, you need to go to Infocom. If you're not going to Infocom, you're in higher education. Uh, don't forget Hetman's going to be there. They have their own event that's going to be there. I don't know the details of the event, Britt. Uh, I don't think neither one of us know totally. I think, in fact, Infocom is going to introduce is going to announce this any day now. We'll be watching uh, for that press release. We'll run it at ravepubs.com. But thanks for joining us, and don't forget to sign up for Brit's session. Thank you very much, Brit. Thank you so much.